when this ball falls back to me, the Earth and you and I and MIT are falling towards the ball. Every time that the ball comes down, we are falling towards the ball. Imagine the power I have over you and over the Earth. But, you may want to think about this, if I throw the ball up, going to be away from the Earth, I bet you anything that the Earth will also go away from the ball. So as I do this, casually, playing, believe me, man, what a gorgeous feeling it is. Earth is going down, Earth is coming towards the ball. The Earth is going down, and I'm part of the Earth, and I'm shaking this Earth up and down by simply playing with this ball. That is the consequence of Newton's third law, even though the amount by which the Earth moves is, of course, too small to be measured. I now want to work out with you a rather detailed example of something in which we combine what we have learned today, a um, down-to-earth problem, the kind of a problem that you might see on an exam or on an assignment. We hang an object on two strings. And one string makes an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical, and the other makes an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical. So this is the one that makes an angle oh, 60 degrees with the horizon, 30 degrees with the vertical. And this one, 45 degrees.